My name is Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. You know, I said I was gonna cut back to one video a day, but I got a box of pods today in the mail and I got it from Andrew Brown. Andrew, I love you, dude. Chance, you too. They own South Shore Heat Works. Great products they make uh, and he grew just a beautiful, a whole bunch, but this one is so pretty. A sugar, this is a Sugar Rush Stripey. Does it look like glass, like blown glass? It's just incredible. You know, as a pepperhead, as a just a, I love peppers, and I, I'm one thing that I'm struck by. It's almost like it's almost like looking up into the stars and seeing. You know, if you look at, if you ever do any studying of the galaxies, how varied and how bizarre the different galaxies are. They're just it's unending. Peppers are like that. They're different shapes and sizes and colors, and this is just about the prettiest as they get. Huh? Isn't that incredible? Sugar Rush Stripey. All right, so I'm excited. Let me read you a little bit about this pepper before I eat it. Sugar Rush Stripey is a capsicum bacata, okay? The Sugar Rush Stripey uh, pepper is a uh, Sugar Rush peach with stripes. The stripes will be mostly red or dark orange. The story, uh, the story starts with master grower Yuka of Finland, seeing the variation appear in his experimental greenhouse in 2010 and 2011. He later shared the seeds with Wales master grower Chris Fowler, who grew it out over a few years, then shared the seeds back to Yuka. After Yuka continued working uh, on it during selection, we obtained our stock. Bottom line is they took some, uh, none of these pet pods happen by accident. It takes a lot of, uh, you know, this would never have occurred if it didn't have, you know, influence of people, of growers. It's kind of exciting. I just want to cut this thing open and uh, eat this pepper. Man, some peppers make me feel like a kid. Like when I look at a, a bubble gum, when the color bleeds into the calyx and the stem, looking at that, just the wonderment of it, it makes me feel like a kid. It's just like, I don't know. And this pod does that to me. Wow. Get a picture of this, you guys. Just a second. You want to definitely go to my Instagram and check out the uh, close-ups of these. Sorry for the delay, people. You guys know how I roll, though. Okay, now as far as the heat on this, it's a little north uh, of a jalapeno. Oh, it smells so good. Look at the interior of this pepper with the help of stunning Robbie Vision. Robbie Roberts said, I love you, dude. You've changed this channel. Pretty amazing pepper. All right, guys, the Sugar Rush Stripey, one of the most stunning I mean, it's arguably one of the prettiest peppers you can get. Thank you, Andrew Brown from South Shore Heat Works. I'm Johnny Scoville. It's a good day. This is JC. I don't know if you're hearing that crunch, but. Wow, very sweet. The sugar is in there for a reason. It's a super sweet pepper. 
amazing flavor, crisp and bright and sweet and fruity. Boy, you know what? Top 10 favorite, top five favorite tasting peppers. That's probably one of them. That's a delicious pepper. I've got a bunch more. I should have brought more than one down. The burn is mild. It's like jalapeno. Although you get a rogue jalapeno, it's gonna be hotter than this. Um, here's the thing, guys. If you're, if you're new on the bus, you have to know that pepper's pretty, right? If you're a grower, if you're somebody who grows, think, uh, you know, It'd be one thing to have a garden full of red pods. It'd be beautiful. But if you have a garden full of red pods and chocolate pods and yellow pods and sugar rush striping, visually it's just so pretty to look at. It's amazing. It's almost like animals. You have so many different kinds of animals, different shapes and sizes. Um, peppers are so varied and so unique and so beautiful. It's almost sad that one's gone. The heat didn't, you know, it's mild. Uh, if you're a chili head, you like hot stuff, maybe a four, three. You're somebody who doesn't eat anything hot, it's going to be a little warmer than a jalapeno. In there, the same heat, but the flavor is just so, so good. Really, I, I you know, I thought about making, like, could you make a sauce with it? Sure. You can make powder with it. You can make salsa with it, but that's just one of the great snacking peppers. Like, I could survive on those. Like there's nothing left. Great vitamin C, be good for you. I could live on those things. I love you guys. Thank you. Brandon, buddy of mine, Brandon, stopped by the office today. Thank you, Brandon. It was very cool to see you today. Um, a couple big things coming up. I'm on the verge of being able to tell you about them. Not quite yet. Uh, some fun things coming up. I'll say this. Don't miss out. If you have an opportunity to go to Dallas Sess Fest, you want to go to that one. Man, what a great pepper. It's already back to nothing. It didn't really raise, move my needle very much at all, but the flavor is just, that's one of those that just stuns you. It just like silences you. You eat that, you take a bite, you're just like, it's just that good a pepper. What a wonderful world of peppers. It's so varied and it's just so incredible, isn't it? love peppers. I really do. We're going to wrap it up now. I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make it special. This will be the last video of the day. I won't be doing a late, a late night snack video tonight. So this is the last one today and there'll be more videos tomorrow. Um, thank you again, Andrew Brown from South Shore Heat Works. I'm going to put his link in the description box below, but he doesn't sell. You know, he's just, I'll tell you what, I've been doing this a minute, almost 4,000 videos, almost 19 million views, almost six years. Of all the hobbyists that I reviewed, think about this before I say it. South Shore Heat Works is a company that is a hobbyist. That would be such an amazing company. Maybe he'll do it someday. But if he did, I'd be his favorite, I'd be his top customer. He grows great stuff and makes great stuff. Andrew Brown, Chance Brown, love you guys. Thank you so much. We're going to wrap it up. I hope you guys have a great day. Be kind to somebody. Be the difference in somebody's life today. You know, it, it doesn't cost anything. And you, here's the truth of it. I'm going to read this to you. Man, I, I think it's the key to life and the key to happiness. It's kind of like my Tommy, my brother, and, my, and me. This is like our mantra. This is what I want to do with my life. That gives me joy. You guys reading that? Going to spend the rest of my life making other people feel less broken. We're in a world of broken people. We're all broken. Even the ones that don't look broken, they're broken. When I was a kid, I remember thinking like, you know, when you're in high school, you're, you're grown up, you got it figured out. And then you get to high school and you're like, man, I don't have it figured out. And then at that time you think, man, when people in college, you know, it's a big step, they got it figured out. And you get to college and you realize that nobody's got it figured out. Then you get out and you're like, when I graduate, you get into the real world, I'll get it figured out. Then you graduate and you get out in the real world and it's, this is life. Nobody, everybody's broken. 
but I have found personally that when you, I personally, when I try to make the difference and try to be a positive light and be the difference, and if I really do that, if I try to make people's lives less broken, I can't begin to tell you the personal reward I get from that. That's my life. That's what I want to do with my life. I want to make people happy. I want to entertain people, and I want to help people feel less broken. I mean that. It's a beautiful thing. That's what life is about, you know? I missed the boat for the life, but I missed it for so long. I, I, you know, you chase things that you think what life is about, then you realize that life, the best things in life aren't things at all. You know what I value the most in my life? You, relationships, relationships, interaction. That's what I value the most. And you're part of that, so I value you guys. Anyway, I'm done pontificating. In the description box, you're gonna see a link for South Shore Heat, Heat Works, but just know that he doesn't sell stuff, but he's such a good man to know in the community. So if you wanna meet a stellar guy, a solid guy in the chili community, reach out to Andrew. Um, right there is the pepper. If you click the pepper, we're riding together. We're doing this together, right? My journey is your journey. And if you click that button, your journey's mine. And share it, it's fun. Um, anybody who's been doing this for a while, at 118,900, how I many? We're almost at 119,000. Let me tell you the exact number 118,749. But everybody's hit that button and we're having a good time. So be a part of this. You know, in the I was talking to Tommy last night. In the grand scheme of things, 54 million YouTube channels. I would wager, and I'm not a guy who wagers anything, but I, I reckon that. The Lifeboat and Chase the Heat are two of the most positive, family-feeling channels on the internet, on YouTube. I'm proud that you're, you're a part of it. So click that button, get on the bus, and let's do this together. If you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notifications. You'll see a Dropbox. Select all. I, For some reason, with notifications, I am unable to put League of Fire there. I did for thousands of videos. And for some reason now, and I'm trying to sort out why, I can't figure it out, but please go check out League of Fire. Exciting stuff is coming from that. Big time. More videos there. I love you guys. Thanks for being a part of this. I'm Johnny Scovo, and this was Chase Lee.